good day sir I'm Kenneth Alvero and I'm from group 1 so uh, this is our learning outcome uh, discuss the procedures of mooring line and the handling tips uh, describe the six tips of safe mooring mooring operations familiarize the mooring challenges from the manufacturer's perspective so this is uh, our course outcome understand every topic that each reporter discuss broaden the knowledge of every student participating the discussion help students to understand each topic so, procedures mooring line handling tips mooring and and mooring operation provide the circumstances for potentially serious accidents. There, there is no doubt that this duty requires a good technique initially in lifting the heavy, heavy eye and off the rope, followed by a good pulling technique. Care must be taken, therefore, with the laying out of heavy mooring ropes and wire ropes house Officers, so to ensure a uh, uh, good operation and successful operation, and to to avoid uh, accidents and and operation. Uh, that's why this procedure is very important. So I'm gonna talk about the additional instructions on the specific equipment and mooring configuration on use on the vessel. This should include the types of winches, windlass and their operation, the location of their emergency button, the types of ropes and wires used, the location, the location and use of rollers, dollies and leads. So crew members should know how to to make sure that they have enough manpower to do the test safely in order to prevent accident. So, and also, detailed familiarization should be take place to all new, new seafarers regarding the installation. Based on the risk assessment, appropriate control measures should take should be put in place. So, the example scenario which leads into an accident because of the there is a because to a snapback assessment had not been carried out by the vessel operator and there was a perception that high modulus polyethylene ropes did not recall on failure is the reason that the crew have been injured thank you so actions to be taken during mooring and unmooring operations so these are the actions to be taken First is a sufficient number of CPRs should always be available both forward and aft of the vessel to ensure safe operations. Second is supervising officer should be in charge of each mooring party and a suitable means of communication, primary and secondary, should be established with bridge team. Third, if this involves the use of portable radios, then the should ship should be clearly identified by name to prevent confusion by other users fourth appropriate ppe should be in place for cpr's protection including safety helmet safety shoes and gloves fifth a toolbox meeting should be conducted between master and the officer and officers in charge of mooring parties to discuss the mooring plan the lines that are going to be used the involvement with the terminals ter terminals or port, ports personnel, use of tags, environmental conditions, and communication skills. Six, special considerations and instructions should be made for snapback zones and lines under tension in order to avoid incidents due to fi line failure. So, six tips for mooring operations. First is use appropriate lines. Choosing the ideal mooring lines depends on local factors such as the water depth, the tidal range, the wave energy, as well as on the material the mooring lines are constructed from. When acquiring new mooring lines, it is vital to report them and know their exact position on the vessel. 
This can be easily be achieved by keeping a log in which you may include the position of the line, onboard, manufacture date, date of first use, use on the board, and hours under tension. Second is set an inspection system. Ensuring the ideal mooring operation, it is important to know the, the steps below. Calculate estimated life expectancy. Set retirement criteria. Set intervals for routine detailed inspections. Request third party assistance for inspections. Residual strength testing. Third is plan operations. So it is very important. Another step to be taken prior to beginning the operation is to exactly plan the procedure, creating a mooring plan based on the mooring position, the area, and the environmental conditions. Also, the plan should be clear on the number of the lines that are going to be used in the mooring and the crew in the charge of operation should assist the situation. Number 4 uh, toolbox meeting. So, toolbox meeting is a crucial step not to be avoided as those participating will, will in detail analyze the plan. So, the potential challenges and what the mit mitigation measures will be followed. So, the purpose of this meeting is to, to ensure all workers are participating in safety activities and have an opportunity to discuss, discuss hazard controls, accidents, and incidents. Moreover, the meeting will provide uh, safety structures for those who will conduct the operations. So in case of emergency, they will be able to handle the situation and highlights that all mooring area is a snapback hazardous area meaning that all crew should be extra cautious during mooring so uh, as a part of health and safety work act employers must provide employees the opportunity to regularly engage in health and safety discussions good day everyone i am dek alindong i'm going to report the uh, number five and number six of the six steps for safe mooring operations so number number five execution operation so the following preparation the plan and the targets on the risk of mooring the time has come when the crew has to provide the lines to shore party during the operation it is vital to always have a mind of the hazard and provide uh, clean instructions to all parties so that everyone is aware of their exact place and responsibility uh, keep in mind that the communication is the key during the operations as all parties should follow orders to be uh, informed during the execution of the mooring. Then number six, uh, post operation activities. So in these uh, activities, during the debriefing, the safety officer should uh, debrief the crew referring to all stages of the execution. As the uh, crew should have regular follow-ups on the on what they uh, could improve to the operation. The debriefing additionally uh, gives room for additional discussion on safety uh, issues that were detected during the mooring operation. And that's how the uh, number six goes. And the last one is the uh, mooring challenges from line manufacturing or manufacturers perspection. So, according to uh, Mr. Kuronaki, Kuronakis, uh, a brief assessment of uh, MEG uh, 4 or MEG 4 is pinpointing the areas 
of improvement after one year of Im uh, implement implementation uh, as a manufacturer he also said that uh, insight to the key uh, insight insight into the key uh, of issues concerning mooring highlight highlights the operation are certainly challenging but also it is safe when all precautions are been taken and the uh, the crew that performing the operation should aware uh, for the risk and incident that will occur to the uh, to the specific uh, operation that's all and thank you so the last one is the importance of the topic so the importance of the topic are to be able to discuss each procedures and the tips on how to handle the mooring line uh, it also uh, helps the students to determine the six steps of or four safe mooring operation and the last is to understand the mooring uh, challenges from line manufacturers manufacturers perspective and that's all thank you